$75,000 is no longer considered middle class, man. So that means if you make less than 75 k you're just like the rest of us poor people. Pull up a chair, get a cookie, and join the club. But in all seriousness, though, man, how did we get here? I mean, there are a lot of ways we got here. We got here with inflation. We got here with student loans at a rate that people cannot pay back. And then these jobs are not jobbing anymore. You used to be able to get a, a decent job in an office, in a cubicle, downtown in the city, and, and you were set, you know. You could retire and get a house and a white picket fence. Man, you got accountants and architects sharing two bedroom apartments with roommates. You know, uh, you, you got them, you know, eating out of can of beans <laughs> out here eating sun kissed tuna, ramen noodles three nights out the week. Like it's getting rough out here. Um, you really got to figure out how to go get it by any means. I hate to say it. Um, I just did a video on how I got a job at a Fortune 500 company and I went from 45K to 55K. I told them I had a bachelor's degree and they caught me on the background check. And you know what? They let me have the job. I negotiated my offer from 50 to 55K. I thought they were going to yank the carpet from underneath my feet. And, you know, God bless me and they let me keep the job. But, um, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I got to figure out how I'm going to be able to move forward because I'm getting money off a degree that don't even exist. So technically, I am stuck not only within the company, but outside the company because no one else is going to pay me that rate. So your boy's about to learn how to code. I'm going to become a back end developer and I'm going to create a separate YouTube channel. That way I can use that, um, you know, during interviews and just document my process of learning. But everybody should everybody should make a plan. You know, I don't know what your plan is. Please share any tips, advice or plans that you may have to make more money in 2024, man. Like I'm doing everything I can as a father. Like I, I have a YouTube channel. I have a pretty good, decent paying job. I do Uber. I give plasma from time to time. I do whatever it takes to get a dollar. <laughs> you know, that's what I do. I'm all about a dollar, but I have to because I'm a father. Um, and these bills are expensive, man. Kids are expensive. And a lot of people are, are wondering why millennials aren't having kids. And I'm going to be real with y'all. It's because daycare is $1,200 a month. All right. And you feel it every single month. And clothes, food, travel, everything. It's just money, 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 money. It's just like a, a, a bottomless pit almost, it seems like. So, you know, not only is having a house difficult, owning a home, having a family is difficult. So it's like a lot of people are starting to get depressed because it's like, I can't get a house. I can't start a family. Like I'm a failure. So this is a lot. This is weighing a lot on people and it's weighing a lot on me as well. And I, 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 I fight, you know, and you have to fight too. Like this is a fight in order for you to get what you want. You got to fight for your right to party. But for real, you really got to fight though. Um, it's not going to come easy, um, especially if you don't have a degree like myself. I want to go back to college, but I never will, right? I will never go back to college. I can't afford it. I can't afford for me to go to college, spend all that time for a degree for four years, and for me not to get a pay increase up to sixty, sixty-five, seventy-five thousand dollars. If I get goose egg and then I have to pay back forty, actually, no, that's a lie. One year of college is forty thousand dollars, right? So that's a hundred and Twenty to one hundred and sixty thousand dollars I would have to pay back to a university if I went back to college. I can't afford to not make really, really, really good money if I have to pay that back. So it's just completely out of the question. So it's either learn these tech skills, run it up that way, start my own business. And that's it. There is no alternative option. Um, I'm just not willing to take the dip. And a lot of people did. Uh, a lot of people bit the bullet on the tuition for, for financial aid or for, for student loans. And God bless you. And I hope you pay it off. And it's unfortunate that this system is so rigged. And it's honestly not fear, fair because the government and these banks and, and, and you know, these institutions, they set us up for failure. Um, I remember like it was yesterday because I'm 28. I remember being a senior in high school and I remember them, you know, the guidance counselor trying to get us to go to different colleges and telling us about how um, financial aid worked and all that crap. And, you know, a lot of people were excited to go and I couldn't fathom paying that money back. So I didn't go. Um, and I, I, I kind of wish I could see what it would be like to go to college and have the college experience. But man, like paying that bread back is just crazy. And you can't even file for bankruptcy. Like these high schools and these colleges set us up. It is sad and it's unfortunate. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how people are going to make it. I'm going to be real. Like if you have a mortgage, credit card debt, child support, car note, daycare, you ain't even pay for groceries yet. You ain't even put food in your belly yet. And they, they, they took all your money. So 
I, th- I, that is why I truly believe that 75K is no longer considered middle class because when you're middle class, you have money to go to Disney World once, twice a year. You you have a savings. You have a, a really good investment portfolio. You know, like you have people making fifty, sixty, seventy five thousand dollars $75,000 by themselves or with families that aren't able to make it. Now, in my opinion, if you are living by yourself off of 55K and you can't save, then you have a serious spending problem. But everybody has their different baseline as far as, you know, what they want to, how, how much they want to spend and what they want to spend their money on. That's a different conversation for a different video. But, you know, it, it's just getting tough is what I'm saying here, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, please share any useful information on making more money. Uh, how much money do you make? You know, put it in the chat. If you don't want to put yourself out there, I understand. I make $26 an hour, didn't always make $26 an hour, make 55 k a year. No bonuses or anything, but I got benefits, 27 vacation days uh, per year, which is pretty decent. Um, and I, I'm, I'm satisfied with it at the moment, you know, I'm still behind trying to get caught up, but my eyes on the ball and I'm working diligently. And I hope you are too. What is your plan? You know, share with us. Have a good day and take care. Good luck.